Hey I'm Max and welcome to my RPG game devlog. In this video I will be adding a few animals and a few features such as mounting and having armor stats affect your character power. If you enjoyed this video consider subscribing, it would help me out a lot. Now let's get started. First I wanted to add animals to my game for the overworld. I actually plan on having a sort of dark dimension on top of the overworld that you can switch between and this dimension would have supernatural creatures like demons, but for the overworld I needed some normal animals. I was about to go model, rig and animate a few, knowing that it would take me a few weeks if not months to make them all. But thankfully I remembered seeing on reddit a post about free animal models and I actually found it again. It's by Quaternus and apparently it does a lot of models for free. I downloaded them and changed a few things like the materials and the shading, but overall they were already really good. So thanks a lot to this Quaternius guy for giving out free models. So after changing a few things with them, I imported them into my project. I also saw that Quaternius had posted a bunch of other assets, so I looked through them and decided to import some weapons as well. Once imported, I had to make the animation blueprints for each animal. It was pretty easy to do when the animals are not moving, they cycle through the idle animations and when they move they go from idle to walk to run if they go fast enough and when they die they go into the death animation and then stop. I then had to set up some AI for the passive mobs. I made it so they walk around randomly and when they get hit they start running around randomly. I might add to it later a little bit such as to make the mobs run away from the player because if they run randomly then they can run towards the player which feels very weird. But for now I guess that's okay. Next I made the animals drop meat, later I plan to let the player create a fire and cook it and then cooked meat will be eaten to regenerate health faster. Once I had done setting them up I had deers, stags, alpacas, cows, wolves, foxes and horses, so quite a few animals. Once I was done with the animals, I started working on a little tooltip to show when you could pick up something and what you would pick up. Then I added a rarity to items, so white items are common, green are uncommon and blue are rares. The items with a rarity above common will have a little light under them while they are on the ground. The tooltip of the item also shows the rarity and changes color based on it. Obviously the more rare an item is, the more powerful it is, but for now what you have equipped does not affect your damage or anything, I will do that at the end of this video. Next I made a basic merchant NPC that lets you sell things in your inventory and buy whatever that merchant is selling. The merchant model is not finished yet and of course he will be inside a building, not just out in the open. You can sell items to him for some copper and then use that copper to buy items. I then made the blacksmith NPC using the same placeholder model to repair your armor. So while you fight enemies, your armor gets damaged. You can see the durability left on your armor in the tooltip. If it reaches zero, the armor piece will become useless and will not affect your stats anymore until it is repaired. That means players will have to be careful to repair their armor often because if it breaks while they're fighting, they're going to be in trouble. Repairing an item costs copper and it costs more the higher item level it is and the more damaged it is. Next I tried adding a horse that you can ride on but accidentally created the Colossal Titan from Attack on Titan apparently. I fixed that and had a decent horse riding experience except the fact that my player was running inside the horse. So I added a little sitting idle animation, fixed a few bugs, added a jump animation and it was pretty good. The final thing I had to do was to make the player's equipped items give him stats like power and defense that will affect the player's damage, health and more. For that I had to calculate the player's total stats based on his level and all equipped items. Then I had to dig into my C++ code for the entity data and calculate the final damage based on the initial damage and all of the stats of both entities. Up until that point I was using Unreal's damage system to handle the display of the damage, but now that I had things between the applying damage and receiving damage, I couldn't do that anymore. That's because the event that applied damage interacts straight with the events that receive damage. In other words, if I want to edit the damage before it is received and displayed, I have to make my own event. 
so I did make my own event in C++ and it was a pain. Do you guys know what a dynamic multicast delegate is? Well, I didn't, and I still don't, but I did it anyway, and somehow it works. Now that I had my damage modifiers applied, I can for example create a higher level wolf with a higher stat, so it will do more damage and take less damage than a lower level one. I can also make it so when you equip armor and weapons, you do more damage and take less damage. Other than just power and defense, I also added stats for endurance, which increase your max HP, vigor, which increases your max resource, such as energy or mana, critical, which increases your critical chance, and speed, which makes you run faster or slower if it's negative. Leveling up also increases your stats, except criticals and speed. To test them out, I gave small stats to my Viking armor set, and it made me a lot stronger to equip it. I also made the Claymore Rare Weapon have insane stats of 100 power and 200 defense on top of 50% critical and 500 speed. When I equipped this weapon, I did insane damage and took pretty much no damage. I also ran really fast, so all of my stats were working. Barely any logics are left to do for the game, so soon we will get into the design aspect by adding a bunch of items, mobs, spells and quests and actually make the story and the balance of everything. Stay tuned by subscribing.